In the year 2010, there was already a history. A vast history from past years in other countries. Namely the USA and Canada. Of my father making phone calls to my university supervisors. Apartment managers, housemates, student union health professionals, the university registrar, and even local government. He told whoever answered the phone some kind of psychiatric story where he would refer to me as his baby born crazy. My parents used legal terms to reflect their high status and emotive love expressions that would make the modern British female swoon. My parents took religious oaths that were beyond the comprehension of everyone. In the older system, if they made 100 calls at least one would be successful. In the modern system, more than 50% of the calls would be successful. My father used cunning to choose his audience carefully. He chose a female migrant audience. They were not doctors or lawyers. He picked considerably illiterate ones of lower social standing than himself. Most modern females, including British ones, have a sexual instinct that makes them see man as a master and woman as a rival they get on their knees and give respect, respect, respect when they see a male has education, money, or power. It gives them great satisfaction sexually and emotionally and makes them able to orgasm in their private lives when they climb the ladder with men and such officials. Demotion of another woman, especially one more educated than them, serves as promotion for these women, whose intellectual potential is poor, and instincts have total power over a dependent and weak moral conscience. It is healthful for most modern women when they hear my father cry me down to them, calling me a psychiatric baby and what not. These women would present a good, obedient, and pleasing personality. They get approval from my father while he disapproves of me. Most people feel satisfied with your behavior and do everything they ask you to be everything they want you to be. While this may sound unprofessional, Pembroke women are a classic example of this. My suffering greatly pleases and gratifies the basic instincts of employees of Pembroke maybe you feel I am contradicting the idea they are healers. I am saying the opposite. I call them a person who is illiterate and cannot heal anyone or anything. That is why Pembroke women were so motivated to make forcible contact with me. My father used to make those calls to USA and Canada. Some recipients hung up the phone on him and even complained about his phone harassment. Others became curious and started to take the action he requested. If a parent makes calls like that hundreds of calls, and does not stop till he gets a favorable action, that would have disastrous consequences in any century. He made most of these calls from India and disrupted and aborted my studies in USA and Canada. The saga in the USA and Canada dates to before 2004 when I came to the UK. But in 2010, I discovered by accident that they were only pretending to live in India. They had bought a house and were living in Reading. I did not know where they lived until then. When he started making phone calls all over the place about me and calling me and my boyfriend non-stop. It was quite provocative and I felt pretty helpless. There's a difference in men's and women's behavior today, and only a man would feel like saying, and quot, you bastard and quot, under those circumstances. A woman would go soft and buckle down on her knees, in the UK. I believe this is why the British were torturing me, to become ultra-effeminate. Like British women. I am biologically, physically, mentally, and spiritually brought up in a different country and a different culture. I'm not likely to be super effeminate and unable to 
compete with British females in levels of fear. I was punished by the police because when British people are provoked as I was, only the males get angry. They like to severely punish me, who as a foreigner had an ego level that in their country is only found in men. Some Europeans feel that Britain is lacking in gender equality compared to their own country.